So I'm browsing Amazon looking for an EverDrive and I come across this, 110 games in one for the Super Nintendo. Now just from the cover I can see it's got Earthbound, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tournament Fighters, SimCity, Castlevania, Mortal Kombat, Legend of Zelda, Chrono Trigger, and Wild Arms. But here's the thing, this was only $15.99. So I want to know, do you think this is worth $15.99? Well, let's take a look at the games on it and you decide. All right, so here we are, 110 and one. We can see we got Earthbound, Harvest Moon, Gaia, Ogre Battle, Super Mario, Adventure Island 2, Columns, Zelda Link, California Games 2, Big Sky Trooper. I don't know that one. Fantasy 2, I wonder what that is. Final Fantasy probably. Shadowrun, Soul Blazer, SimCity, Arkanoid, Desert Strike, Jurassic Park, Arrow Fighters, Asterix, which I don't think came out in the United States. Aladdin, Bomberman, Dragon Lee? Oh, I bet that's uh, Bruce Lee. Double Dragon 5, Adventure Island. So we got two Adventure Islands on here. Killer, probably Killer Instinct. Mortal Kombat 3, Street Fighter 2, Turbo and Challengers. Apocalypse 2, Jungle Book, X-Men, Teenage. I imagine that's Turtles. Marvel Heroes, World Heroes, Star Wars, Taz, Thunder Spirits, Tiny Toon 2, Turtles. So there's two turtles on here. One must be Tournament Fighters and one must be Turtles in Time. Joe and Mac, one and two. Kendo Rage, King of Monsters, Magic Sword, Raiden Trad, Yogi Bear, Baby T-Rex, Barbie Vacation. Of course, everybody needs that one. Batman Returns, Battle Blaze, BB's Kids, Best of the Best, Biometal, Bulls and Blazers, why not? Dino City, Doomsday Warrior, Excalibur. I don't know if that's how they spell it on the game or not. I mean, everything 90s was X, right? Extreme, all those kind of things. Family Dog, Final Fight, Ghouls and Ghosts, Grand Prix, Bust a Move, Captain Novelin, Caravan Shoot, Shoplifter, 3, Clue, Congo Caper, Cyberspin, Family Feud, First Samurai, Goof Troop, Gradius 3, Greatest Hits, which I imagine it's like Midway or something like that, Home Alone, Hunt for Red October, Hyperzone, Incantation, not familiar with that one. James Bond Jr., Jeopardy, Deluxe and Sports, Club Louie, Cab Louie, King Arthur, Krusty, which is probably Simpsons, Krusty the Clown, Machines, Micro Machines, I don't know what that would be, Pack Attack, Paperboy 2, Cubert 3, well I didn't know they made Cubert 3, so we'll have to check some of these out, Smash TV, Super Off-Road, Tom and Jerry, Top Gear, Troll Islands, Turrican, Ultraman, Universal Soldier, Wild Snake, Wings 2, Zoop, Contra 3, Indiana Jones, Chrono Trigger, Superman, Sunset Riders, Wild Arms, Simpsons, Bonkers, Dr. Franken, okay, Tiny Toons, Space Invaders, and Galaxy Wars. Pretty diverse set of games for $15.99, right? Let's see what Adventure Islands 2 is. And it seems to be a bit of a wait. Not too bad, if it loads. There we go. I do like the Adventure Island games. The sound is pretty good. Sounds like it's supposed to, looks like it's supposed to. Seems to be running at the right speed. We'll see. Gameplay. Get... Uh, uh, wow. Start the adventure, baby. We'll see if it saves, too. We'll see how well the save function is. It does have a battery in it, so I'm assuming it'll save. What up, King? Famous Master Higgins. We've met just in the nick of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad we can't skip this, right? But through the magic of editing, favor now and I'll do you right. This is totally an RPG. Definitely not your traditional Adventure Island. But hey, that's one of the fun things about having one of these 110 in one cartridges. You get to try out some stuff you haven't played before. Okay, so once you hit reset, it remembers the game that you were on, Adventure Island 2. So that's going to come in handy for this. Now we all know Columns, we know Adventures, the Zelda Adventure Link. Let's see what Fantasy is. Final Fantasy 2. Got the classic scene flying over the water using that Mode 7. So hey, Mode 7 works. We won't see anything like Star Fox on here. Most EverDrives, especially the fake ones, don't support the FX chips games. So no Star Fox. We're going to try Big Sky Trooper. Big Sky Trooper. I just don't know this game. Eh, she looks daring and dashing. Oh my. The Sultan of Slime has declared war on the human race. Scared? I bet you are. Alright, so they're looking for a few good men. You want to sign up? 
Well, not really a man, but okay. I can identify as one for this game. Let's see, handed me a Q-tip. Oh no, physical fitness. He's taking my temperature. Whoa, are you hot or what? Yeah, I'm hot. I don't know if anybody wants to play this game. Maybe this is a game you've played. Let me know. What's Asterix? Yeah, so this is the game I was thinking of. I don't think this came out in the United States because this character just wasn't a popular character in the United States ever. But I have played this before. I don't really remember it, but I have played it. Trust me, bro. Actually, this looks different than the one I played. I thought I played a beat-em-up. Let's see what this Adventure Island is. So here's the one I'm more familiar with, Super Adventure Island. Not that I ever had this game. I really like the Adventure Island series. When the Super Nintendo came out, I didn't have too many games. I had maybe like 30 games total. And I'm not saying like I had them. I mean, I've played like 30. That's all I rented. But I've always been a fan of Adventure Island. I like the Wonder Boy series, especially the original that was basically turned into Adventure Island. Got to get them fruits so you don't die. Get the skateboard. But yeah, this feels good. I don't feel like any lag or anything like that. It seems normal. Bonus! Alright, let's move on. Let's see what Teenage is. I'm betting Tournament Fighters. There we go. And of course, this is going to be on the new Turtles Cowabunga collection. So it's kind of cool to check this out. I gotta be Leo, because Leo's the man, really. Alright, April. Looking good, baby. I don't know who those two people are in the back, but they got a lot of money, apparently. Dollar signs all over. Take it, Leo. Ooh! Oh, 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 getting my face chomped. I do not know the controls for this, so. And Leo's down. What else we got? Let's see what Kendo Rage is. 1993 Seda. Okay, here's just one I'm just not familiar with. I like that fire effect anyway. Normally, we'd have time to check out the story, but we want to check out these games. Hey, it's a fashionable outfit there. Ha! Huh. That's a cool animation. She starts running. Turns all chibi. Could be a cool game. Might have to check that out a little bit more. Got Batman Returns, Bebe's Kids, which I heard is like one of the worst games ever for the Super Nintendo. Got to be on there, right? Should be. Best of the best, Biometal. Let's check out Excalibur. So far, all the naming convention is pretty close. You know, they've shortened some of the names, so you have to kind of guess what they are. But if you know the Super Nintendo library at all, you should be pretty, pretty well off. Excalibur 2097. We got a couple years to go. So you're playing the titular character, Excalibur. No, I, I really don't know. Maybe he's got the sword. Don't fall down the holes, folks. Let's try a Cubert 3. Alright. This looks legit. Kind of. Get it, QB. Hopefully there's not, you know, realistic cussing happening. Oh, you can't see the whole board? Oh, no. Later, Coils. So it pretty much plays like Cubert. Regular old Cubert. Stop your cussing, dude. This board's a little different. Got him. So that's Cuber 3. And then we're gonna, I'm just gonna play Super Off-Road just because I want to hear that opening, which is rocking. Yeah, I always love this opening. Let's see what the Simpsons game is. Bart's Nightmare. Ooh. It's kind of my nightmare, too. We'll move on. Dr. Franken? DTMC. My favorite rap group. The Adventures of Dr. Franken. Starter up. This is not what I'd call a high-quality game. But for $15.99, what do you want? I mean, you're already getting Earthbound on here. You know, I've seen repos of that selling for more than $15.99. Oh, my. So make sure you check down below. I will have a link to where you can buy this on Amazon for $15.99. I know they only have a few left, so hopefully you can get to it. So that about wraps up the gameplay, but you gotta love this intro, right? Was it worth it? Let me know in the comments below. Peace out.